Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Um, I have a new journal share today. I had a lot of fun making this. It's a Halloween themed vampire and bat themed journal. Um, I have a special place in my heart for bats, so this was a lot of fun to make, as I said. Um, she measures five and a half inches by eight and a half inches, um, has a one and a quarter inch spine. I've used a hollow back book binding uh, technique with this. There's three signatures with 156 pages. I used a five hole pamphlet stitch. This was a, a hardback book that I had that I used the cover and repurposed the book. The spine has um, some sari silk and I have five different uh, charms that are on the on the side. Um, let me see how close you can see these. Um, one says spirits, um, regions beyond. There's a little bat charm. Uh, this one says twilight on the other side. And then my favorite is the large one. I'm trying to get where I'm in the camera here. Um, it says here in the silence, dark and deep, I offer you eternal sleep. And these are all uh, Tim Holtz. So I've sprayed this with some um, Lindy's sprays. And then I've done some stenciling um, with a uh, on the back and the front. I don't know if you can see that or not. I can't tell if the light's catching it up here. And then I've used some of the um, wax, um, metallic wax, and did like a little border of red around the edges and down here. If the light will catch that or not. And then on the back, there's also some stenciling done here. So let's open it up. A while ago, I was fortunate enough to go to a garage sale and find some wonderful marbled papers. And so the, the inside uh, covers are covered with that paper. As I said, there's three signatures. Um, I've used a lot of... Um, digital stamping and uh, digital uh, kits for this journal. Here I have the definition of vampire and there's a little book plate here. This particular, um, the digital kits that I've used came from Junk Journal Club and she's on Etsy and I used four different kits. One is a vampire journal one is the Vampire Papers, Vampire Hunter, and Vampire Ephemera. So this was part of the Vampire Papers kit. And then this is part of the uh, Vampire Journal. I've done a tuck spot here, and there's a little book plate, um, excuse me, a, a bookmark you can use. You can do a little bit of journaling on the back if you'd like. I've used a lot of sewing in this and dyed some of the uh, laces and... Um, ribbons that I've used. So there's laces throughout. Lots of journaling space. Um, here's a little journaling card that I just clipped in. This is a, one of my bat ephemera that I have in here. There's, there's a lot of those. This is from the kit. This particular image, I have three of these in the book and they're from the Graphics Fairy. Um, here's one of the vampire guys. You can, the eyes are all blank. And then this, I believe, is from uh, the Graphics Fairy also. And there's journaling space on the back of both cards. Sorry. Some more lace. And then this is, was an idea, these pockets that I uh, got from uh, Wendy's Journal Adventure from uh, Wendy Connors Beckett, and it was such a cute idea. She had some that she found, I found these on Amazon. She had some manila ones, and when I saw the black ones, when I was looking for the manila ones, I thought, oh, those are just perfect for, for Halloween. So um, this is a page from the book, and it shows the different uh, bats and their, their faces. And so this had little bats around the edge. I trimmed it in sari silk. 
you can put your own little picture in that and you can flip it over and write on the back or a description of your picture or just journal on this or do another picture. And that just fits right in there. Some more journaling space, another tag. Um, I, this is again the, the um, paper and this one is from the Vampire Hunter and the way my, uh, I printed it on some photo matte photo paper and it printed out so beautifully it almost looks like velvet so I just left that and left some journaling space on the back. This is from the kit. This is from the kit. Some more journaling space. Uh, the definition of coffin and this is a um, digital stamp from the Graphics Fairy. Some parchment paper, some different parchment paper. This is from the kit. This is a map of Transylvania. And I've added the little bat stamp. And then these bats, again, are Graphics Fairy. I put the wing so you could see the wing on both sides. Some more tea dyed paper. It's from the Vampire Kit. And then this is a stamp I have that I embossed. Some more tea dyed paper. And then this is the back of that envelope, um, the CD envelope, and I just put this picture from the kit. Some more information on the bats. And then you have a pocket here, and this is a great illustration. Um, shows a bunch of different kinds of bats, and there's a place on the back to journal. And then I made this tag and did the embossing with the bat. You've got journaling space on the back of that. That's one of my stamps. This is from the kit. There's some red sari silk rib, um, ruffle. Lots, as I said, lots of space to journal. And then there's a tuck spot back here. And here's another little bat. This is the greater horseshoe bat. And there's space on the back. If you have a white pen, you can journal on that. And then this was just included in the kit. It's a letter in French, so I can't tell you exactly what it says, but I'm sure it has something to do with vampires. Then there were lots of different photos in the book, um, I mean, excuse me, in the kit and in the um, ephemera. And so I just chose to put some of them here. It's another one. And then there's some seals that she included in the uh, ephemera. And I used um, the beeswax. I uh, can't think of. It's a embossing powder, and I can't think of who made it right now, but um, it turned out really, really well and looks like a looks like a wax seal when you see it up close. The light catches it. There are several that I've used in the book. Back in. And there's pockets here with another undertaker tag and um, another picture of a bat from an older book. And both of these have blank spaces on the back so you can journal on those and decorate the pocket how you'd like. More tea stain paper. This is from the kit and I've used a stamp and embossed that. You can see the, you know, see the little bats there. And then this pocket has a tag that I've made, um, and that's a really good image. This particular image is from the Graphics Fairy, if you can see that very well. And then this is from the kit, and then they have little coffins, and you can write on the back of that. And I just used the paper to make the pockets. And there's another ruffle from Sorry Silk. And one of the pictures from the back. This is the New York bat and, hor and the hoary bat. Another coffin. This is um, some cutouts. It's up from uh, Tim Holtz and some ribbon. And this is one of the vampire hunters from the vamp from that particular kit. And then I had had dried some uh, seeds and. My husband said that he thought it would just be great to have one of them be a demon seed. So that's why this is here. And with special handling and 
There's a close up of, yeah, close up of it. And the back is just plain black, so you can do your own picture that way and slide it in or do some, gra put your own image there. And this is Sari Silk Ruffle. In the back, you can journal on that. Lots of, as I said, lots and lots of journaling space. It's another piece, uh, one of the digis from the um, Vampire Hunter. Some more parchment paper, another graphics fairy. I made another tag, and you can see the seals. You can journal on the back of that. And on this. And then this is how you identify a vampire. And you see the little teeth here, and the eyes have this different look. For journaling space. I added the little bat down there. This is the back of that page. And again, I embossed the stamp, and there's a lot of And then this is a, a great big picture of a vampire coffin or a funeral. And there's lots of journaling space on the back of that. And that's the, the uh, paper from the vampire hunter. And there's another little bat wing here and the bat there. And that's from Graphics Fairy. And then these pages are from the vampire journal. I've added some lace there. Here's another image of bats with journaling space on the back. And this is the, from the kit. This is this one. Some more lace. And this is a um, digital stamp from the Graphics Fairy. And then here's another part of the kit. One of the vampires with journaling space on the back. And then this is just a, a parchment paper, and this is how they would do the old letters. And you've got, you know, do your notes there. Right, journaling space there. And then I made, this is a, um, like just a little tuck-in spot. Um, there's a Lost Souls on this charm. And then these are some of the pictures that came with the ephemera, and I thought, this was special delivery. You get two for the price of one, I guess. And then here's two more vampire pictures, which I thought were really cute. I'm doing some great adjusting to those photos. And then you can just put your own photos on these. This is the third signature. And here's the, this is the um, Prince, Black Prince Rose. There's journaling space on the back, and this is another vampire photo with journaling space. I think they did a great job with these pictures. Some more lace, digital stamp from Graphics Fairy. This again is the uh, from the Vampire Hunter. Some of the paper. You can see the vampire teeth here parchment paper. This is a digital stamp from Graphics Fairy again. Here's another Graphics Fairy image. This is from the kit and I just made the tag out of that. And then another this is all a uh, vampire bat family. And then this is a uh, digital stamp. This is the Death's Head Moth and they, this is from Graphics Fairy. And here's the third little pocket, and this is from the Graphics Fairy. This image is from one of their kits. And there's space on the back to journal. More journaling space. There's a flip out here. Sorry, silk ruffle. And then this is on the bats. More journaling space. This is the back part of that journal on the back. This is from the Vampire Kit. Some t coffee tea dyed paper. This is another pocket that I made with a little coffin and the tag with the bats. And another 
information about bats, which you can journal on the back. As I said, I love bats, so there's lots of them in here. And this is uh, from, it's a stamp that just shows the moon. And I'm, it's the gal that does the fairy stamps, and I can't think of her name right now. I'm sorry. More journaling space, parchment paper. It's from the kits, more lace. And I've got the, the last little card is on the vampire bat. There's journaling space on the back of that. I tea stained um, some cardstock, and I use that for the back of a lot of the things that I do. And it, it was just really fun the way it came out. And it provides enough sturdiness for pockets and things like that. More journaling space, on the last page. And then this is a skeleton that shows the nerve endings and the muscles skeleton of the uh, head. And this is just a little piece of parchment paper to write a note on. And then the last has the little bat here and on this side. And that's her. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, as I said, the images came from the Junk Journal Club on Etsy, and uh, this will be available in my Etsy shop. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope everybody's well, and have a nice day.